Morwen comes back to the inn. I come back. <laughs> and Layson is sitting down to his meal. I'm going to tap him on my, his shoulder on the way up and... After this happens, I'm going to go downstairs. <laughs> Intersect me so that I don't get in the room. Where did he go? <laughs> oh, I'm going to leave the dog in the room and be like, stay. Sit. No barking. <laughs> uh, of course, I have like zero handle animal. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, he, so he, he actually tries to follow you and kind of you have to, in order to keep him from following, you have to kind of push him back and shut the door. And uh, and he starts scratching at it and whimpering. <sighs> All right, well, I'm going to head downstairs. If I see Maeve or Morwen, I'm going to be like, your dog is whining. <laughs> but we need to talk soon. I'm going to kind of say this quietly. And then I'm going to grab some food as well. And then head back up. Okay, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna like sit apart from Layson. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm gonna like sit across the room from him at just a different table. All right, Morwen, are you following him? Or I'm getting my dog. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Well, you guys finish your your meals in peace, I guess. Just sitting alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna head up to the room. Okay. Now that I've eaten. All right. Well, you find more one up there. And I'm going to finish and head up there, too. And I'm going to go in and close the door and be like, guys, we got problems. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean problems? Get out of town right now kind of problems. Well, we're already out of town, fortunately. However, they just the temple just did a basic roll call on all the initiates at the temple. Uh, and I was required to give my status and... <clears throat> uh, location, which I of course didn't give them the correct location and told them I was ill and out of town with family. <clears throat> um, but I really doubt that that's going to hold them off for long. So uh, They obviously have the magical means to contact me or locate. I imagine they can use some type of scrying sort of spell if my studies on the clerical magics are correct. <clears throat> so we got problems meaning we need to get yeah they're gonna they're not exactly giving up <laughs> i didn't expect that but i also didn't expect the random voice of one of my instructors in my head calling me to uh doing a roll call essentially well, i really don't think so we should I. be staying in town <clears throat> Well, I don't think it matters whether we're in town or out at this point, but... Yeah. Look, I think we ought to get our night's rest. It'd be nice to be out of the weather and get a night's rest and then take out really early in the morning. Okay. Well, um... And that's, that's what I want to do. But whatever y'all decide is fine by me. Probably a good idea. Uh, it's, I think even though we're in town, one of us should we should take uh, a watch, divide it up, and one of us stays awake so that no one we don't catch anyone sneaking in our room or something like that. One of us can at least defend the other two. While does our it. does our room have a window? Uh, Let's look around. Is that a window? <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. Could it's out. It, it's out towards the front. Uh, basically, the window. If you look out it, you see the front. It's the street to to the front of the inn. Is it is it large enough? We can use it as an escape route if we have to. You could climb out. Yes. Okay. Hopefully, we can get Mandy back soon. Oh, did she DC? Yeah, she oh, dropped. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't mind. I don't have that much. Sorry. I, wouldn't mind. Mm -hmm. I did some. Sh I had already bought some more rations today. Sorry, this is out of. I'm trying to remember what I did last time. 
Well, you should have it in your inventory. Oh yeah, you I'm guys have pretty like... much used up all of your rations getting here. Yeah, I'm back up to like 16, so I must have bought some before I ever updated. Oh, I did. I remember updating my sheet. I actually, I did go and get more rations. Because okay. I'm up to 20 again. Okay, well, if, if we are, let's just do that and let's see how things look in the morning. I don't, you know, even if they, I don't. Sheldon, I have knowledge. Yes. I don't have knowledge arcana. Does anyone have knowledge? Anyone know? Why did I not take these skills? Man. <laughs> I don't know. Probably because I'm a bard and I know everything. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask Morwen. I was like, Morwen, you know about these things. Do you know enough about magic? Magic, these magical spells that I have not bothered to learn yet in my clerical abilities to know if how much they'd be able to glean from that spell. Roll your arcane knowledge. Roll. <laughs> yeah, roll your knowledge, Arcana. I see. watched it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Nope. So <laughs> apparently you were unaware that there was even a spell that you could use to communicate in this fashion. Wonderful. That doesn't help me exist. <laughs> hey, turn your video back on. Which is... Oh, is my video off? Yes. I'm yeah. sorry. That's really funny because I have one of those spells. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty bad botch. <laughs> well, I guess you didn't know that clerics could do it. <laughs> Anything about this, Layson? Man, I haven't a clue. Although, <laughs> although the only thing we need to worry about, if he could contact you, is if they've got an agent in town. That's the only thing to worry about, is if they have operatives out here that they could reach us. Yeah, I don't know. I imagine it was some sort of mass scrying spell that they have, but. Yeah, I think the further we get away from Newstead, then the better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're definitely not heading back that way. Let's just put it that way. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyone else? So, listen, we else? were thinking about heading to Kionan, wondering if you were interested in following us. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'll go. Now, Layson and Kionin, I'm going to be straight with you. We're actually... Layson just got bit by the dog. No, scratch my... <laughs> scratch my cat. No, bit by a Where's dog. Bit by, bit by a dog. dog. <laughs> bit by a dog. Ow, what did I do to the dog? Bad Chuck. <laughs> he misses be misbehaves for the first time. What's up, Chuck? <laughs> Andy, we lost you again. Hold on. At which sorry, point Chuck, Chuck lets go of your leg and then just starts kind of, you know, growling a little bit. And What did I do to you, Chuck? Chuck? No. <laughs> okay, well. Do we want to... Here, I'm concerned. Do we want to stay in this room tonight? They could figure out my location from that spell. They'd have a beat on us all night. We no, want to yeah. pay for the room. They're 200 miles away. You know, come get me. They think they can do it. <laughs> Don't say that to our DM. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I right, well, really... Let's watch tonight, at least. And, uh, you know, try to get some rest. Um, anyway, Layson, as I say, regarding Kionin, um, the reason we want to head there is there's someone that... Uh, there's someone there responsible for uh, causing direct harm to our family. Do and they have money? Yeah. From what I understand, he I mean, he's wealthy enough to hire assassins. Ow! Well, if they've got money, <laughs> and there's and some money to he, make... Chuck, stop he, it! From what I understand, the dude is... The dude. This old fella is fairly influential... A lord in Kion in in Iadara. He's got plenty of wealth. 
My plan is to find him, research him, and ruin him. Let me put it that way. And we'll take everything from him we can. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. If there's money to be made, I'm there. All right. Sounds good to me. All right, so that's going to be our destination. Scratch me. So let's try to get some rest and kick that dog a few more times. And let's go to bed. I never kicked the <laughs> dog. I don't know dog. what I ever did to him. Biden I didn't kick him while you were gone, I swear. <laughs> I was nice to him. He behaved for me mostly until I tried to leave. I don't even know what I did to him. I'm, gosh. I, I wanted to go to that magic shop with you, but no, I had a dog sit. You could have said you wanted to come. Well, next time, take me. I like magic items. They're shiny. <laughs> I've even been able to get one for myself. Let it just count. Now, not so much because we got to get out of town. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'll take first watch. Okay. I'll take the morning, early morning watch. Just wake me up when it's the end of your watch, Morwen. Okay. So you guys are doing watch in the inn. Yes. yes. Person's gonna sit by the window. <laughs> One person will sit by the window and watch outside and listen for the door to be messed with. That's why I have a dog. <laughs> that too. The dog can be by the door. <laughs> or something. Right. I'm gonna anyway. pull out my bow just in case. I'm going to sleep with weapons nearby. I'm nervous. <laughs> I assume you're keeping the window shut, right? Uh, what season is it? Summer? Yeah. No, it, it's Side? it's it's spring. Okay. Spring. How late into spring? Mid spring. Mid spring. I don't know. We could have the open a crack to hear outside. Yeah, and let just a crack. In so the dog just in case I need to get an arrow out. out there. Right? With its bad dog smelly ness the dogs like to do in the middle of the night when they're digesting. You'll appreciate Chuck one day. <laughs> <laughs> Mutt dogs and their smells. Anyway, I'm asleep. I don't know why I'm still talking. I'm asleep also. Like the dead. All right, Morwen, how long was your watch? Um, we want to get up early, so I'd say like an hour before sunrise, right? You're staying oh. up the whole night? Well, no, I'm just figuring the times for our watches. Well, we want to get enough rest. I mean, if we're going to bed, it's only like eight or nine right now. We went to bed pretty early, I think. There's three so, of us if yeah. we each take a four hour watch. Yeah. Yeah, if we all take four hours, we can all get full rest, right? Mm -hmm. You wait. Plenty yes, of rest. Math. math is good. Three times four. So my watch is four hours. Twelve. That's twelve. It That's twelve. 12. Hours. Three hour watches then, because three. Three minus... hour. Wait. <laughs> that will get us. No. No, because that would be six hours of sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Four hours. You're right. Stupid math. Jeez. Uh, but that would be. So I'll roll my perception for the night. Mm -hmm. Four that hour watches. Hour. We're not getting up early, guys. We're only getting up at like seven in the morning or eight in the morning. If everybody wants a full night of sleep, yes. Yeah. I want a full night of sleep. I paid for a bed. <laughs> I'm fine. Full night of sleep. We're not leaving early. Shops will be open when we leave. That's good for me anyway. I can go pester Mr. Magic Dude. <laughs> As long as we're right, not being so, chased by um, My perception is 26 for the night. All right. Nothing happens during your watch, and you stay up till around midnight. No. Uh, listen. Listen. Yeah. Listen. Your watch. Oh, thanks. Do you, do you have a bow? No, I got a sling. I'm going to leave my bow out here for you, just in case you need it. But I got this fine masterwork short sword. But if we're shooting out the window, then you'll need a long-ranged weapon that you don't have to whip. <laughs> <laughs> I 
my so my self begins to wander away. Right. It. I'm going to bed. Out innocent bystanders. <laughs> Why are we shooting out windows in the middle of the in night? Case we need paranoid to. much? <laughs> I am paranoid. He has a sling. He's fine. Anyway, I'll stop arguing with you with my unconsciousness. <laughs> Twenty-one is my perce perception from my watch. Okay, a couple of hours in, you do actually hear so with the cracked window. You do hear a little bit of a ruckus down the street, and. You you can see out of the side that there are some people that are fighting in the street. And they, they're they yelling and shouting. And you've got two different groups of people, it looks like. And they kind of get a little bit close to the end, but not right in front of it. And then there, uh, some people go down in the fight, and the fight just kind of moves on. And the, Can I the, hear what's the, being said? They're shouting insults at each other, and that's the most that you can really get out of it. And, you know, threats, you know, I'm going to kill you, that kind of thing. And that's it, and then the fight moves on? Mm-hmm. But it doesn't seem to come into the end? No, it did not come into the end. Okay. There, there's dead people outside now? Well, there's people that are on the ground, yes. You, you can't tell if they're dead from here. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna go investigate. Why, why, why? Okay. Said, oh, Chuck, don't let him out the door. We're asleep. I know. Well, all right. Here's this. the thing. You, you you roll your stealth, and you two roll your perception, even even though you're asleep. And there's modifiers for this kind of thing. Oh, what did I roll? Natural fourteen. Me too. What the uh, crap? What kind of mod <laughs> What kind of modifier is for while asleep? Do we get uh, yeah, Plus it's the d twenty-two it's, total. It's gonna depend on his stealth. My stealth is twenty-four. Twenty-four. Oh, he's and the fact that you guys are asleep, he slips right out the door, and you guys don't hear a thing. Okay. So now we have again split up the party, and Layson is going solo <laughs> down the stairs of the. I end. really hope Chuck is a very started. perspective, per yeah, perspective dog. Perceptive. Perceptive. Uh, that was it. I knew I was close. Actually, uh, roll perception for him as well. Isn't that your job? But okay. Uh, um, you you can roll my for him. Perception. Your dog. No, no, he's your, he's your dog. Go ahead and you roll perception what, for him. Would I use my perception modifier? No, like... no, no. Just roll your, roll your die and tell me what it is. And eventually have your own Five. for that dog. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, in that case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing stirs you in your sleep. Not the dog next to you or the sound of Layson sneaking out the door. Dog, okay. Well, what do you do, Layson? Lamb chops. Mm -hmm. I go down the stairs and look look at the uh, head out to see look at the closest guy on the ground or the closest person on the ground. Okay, where are you doing this from? How far away? Well, I mean, I'm I'm going to go out of the inn and go to the and closest you go all person. the way to this person. Yes. Okay. Well, he's it's a guy laying on the ground and he's moaning. And he and he's bleeding. Kind of hard to tell in the. You'll have to. Uh, yeah. What happened to you? What the? Oh, who are you? My name's Layson. Layson. Just oh. the. Oh. Fast fallen. God, they, oh. Fast fallen came for us. Oh. Fast fallen? Who's that? You, you're an outlander, aren't you? you yeah. Don't, you don't know. What can I do to help you? Where can I take you to get help? 
Oh, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> uh, the, uh, where, uh, uh, River's Edge Cutter's Home Hall. Uh, it, lower quarter. It's in, in the lower quarter. Well, I, I'll try to help him up. Help him get help get him to his place. Oh goodness! Guy's gonna bleed out on you, man. <laughs> uh, he's he is uh, he is still bleeding. Okay. Do you... well, let me get you to the end first and see if we can get you help there. All right, you you. <laughs> You take him into the inn, <laughs> and he, he's, he, you're, he can barely stand, and he's just staggering all the way into the inn. And I set him down. Uh, right there in the tavern. Uh, uh, and, and then he starts pulling, pulling up his light armor, and, you know, he's got, he's got a stab wound in his side. Okay. Let me see if I can do any first aid. All right, you've got the first aid skill, so right. Well, no. you don't have to have it trained, I don't believe. No, I used a good bonus. Yeah. So yeah. go ahead and roll it. Natural fourteen, and if it's intelligence, I get a, a plus one, so a fifteen. It's it's wisdom. Wisdom, I get a plus one also, so it's 15. Okay, you are able to just kind of bind up the wounds a little bit, and you, it seems to stop bleeding. It's, but it, you know, there is, it's, the bandages are very bloody, but it doesn't seem like it's getting any worse, from what you can tell. Okay. Well, uh, Stay here a minute. I'll be right back. Uh, like I can go anywhere. So I I go upstairs and go to the room and wake and wake up. Uh, uh, Raul. Raul. Ugh, what? Raul. They had a big they had a big fight down in the street. Why are you fighting? No, no, they've had a big fight down the street, and I went and helped this hey. guy. That, yeah, it was a big. It was, it was a couple of big groups. Come with <laughs> me and see if you can help this guy. And I brought him into the co common area of the inn. Help? What? Oh, yeah, come with me. <laughs> okay, so I like stumble out of the room. I like <laughs> grab my. Hold on, hold on. It's just fighting. I want to like. Get my get equipped first. I'm not gonna stumble out of there without being equipped. <laughs> Especially if you said there was fighting. So I'm gonna spend a few minutes and get equipped before I leave and head down there. And then I'll follow him. And I take him down to the injured guy. Okay. <laughs> well he's down he's still on the table and he's moaning. He's uh, you know, he's trying to sit up but uh, this guy's been stabbed. Can you do Don't anything say. for him? Yeah, I can. Hold still. I was like, <laughs> it's like, sir, hold still a minute. I'm going to... Uh, apparently, on my character sheet, I didn't cast anything yesterday, so I still have all my spells. So I'll just cast Cure Light Wounds, spontaneous cast on this guy, and that would be 8 plus 1. That is... I heal him for 7 total points all right he at the oh 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 he, he looks in underneath the bandages and the the wound is closed up and he's like oh 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 so oh, thank you Take it easy. Oh. what's tell me what's going on you have any friends are hurt too what's going on uh Oh, it was, oh, oh, they came after us, the, oh, uh, who's they? The Fast Fallen. Fast Oh, you're Outlanders. Hey, yeah. 
they're oh, they're our rival gang. Oh, I've got I've got to get back. To, oh, he starts standing up. I've I've got to get back to the. the oh, got to get back to the house. Where's the house? It's in the lower quarters. Lower quarters. Of what? Of the city. The lower quarters of the... Oh, damn Outlanders. Hey, we just pulled you, you out of the street there? and helped you. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right. Oh, I'm going to no. poke my head out the door and look around. Kind of... See what uh, I see. There's still another... <laughs> There's nobody that's left in the street at the moment. There's no body or other person down or anything? No, if there was, they had gotten up. Okay. Okay. Do you need, do you need some help getting back to your place? Uh, if you folks want to go with me, yeah, sure. I'm going to look at Layson and kind of give him the, sure that's a good idea. Type of look like. Let, let me confer with my friend here. I go over to the side with Real and say, "Hey, we need some contacts. You know, we don't have to get involved in their mess so much yeah. as we can find out where we can get things going on in this city and maybe the best way to get out of here." I'm just gonna kind of be like, "Yeah, but the more people that know about us." I don't think it's going to be that hard to walk out the front gates and start heading east, you know, southeast. <laughs> well, I'll defer to you then. Whatever you think's best. I'm just going to... I was like, well, I don't want to leave my sister here, and I don't think all three of us should go out, but if you want to go scout this guy out and see if you can make some contacts, do it carefully. But <laughs> I was like, I don't think it's a good idea to split up, but if you think it's going to be worthwhile. Well, I'm getting I to the... Causing, I'm going to think it's going to be causing more, more trouble than it's worth getting involved. I'm getting in back to his place and then get back. I... I'm not your boss, so... Hey! What's, what could happen? What could happen? Exactly. I'm just going to shake my head and I'm going to go back into the room. And I guess I'm just staying up now. I've been, I got some sleep at least. So, so I'm going right. to help him get down to his place. I'll let Morwen sleep unless something else bad happens at the end. So, Raul, what are you doing? Are you just... <laughs> you, oh, yeah, you just are I'm, you staying I'm, up, or are you just going to sleep? Or I'm going back up to the room, but I'm staying up, and I'll kind of sit by the window and watch to see if I can watch if anything happens to Layson near the inn, and I can hopefully go help, but I'm kind of watch for him to come back as well. But I also not I want her to get some rest, so I'm not going to wake her up. All right, well, this guy starts wa walking down the street, and, he, and he's like... It's this. It's this way. So My I'll, perception on watch was twenty-one, by the way. Okay. Well, you watch them as they walk around the corner out of your view. Okay. Well, I'm I'm following along with him. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Thinking to myself. I certainly hope so. All right. So it's. You know, currently, you know, middle of the night ish, and you're now you're walking down. It's it's dark. You do pass the occasional watch post, with, which has torches and guards standing at them, but then you kind of start walking into what is obviously a shadier part of town, and it's mostly comprised of a bunch of huts. Okay. And there are no guards that you can see in this area. All right. And he just keeps leading you into the middle of the area. And from time to time, you, you hear the sounds of fighting, you know, a few streets down. Okay. And so you hear one of these right now. 
Okay, so it sounds like they're still fighting. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, there's always fighting. Yeah, but was your gang winning or losing? Uh, uh, well, I was losing on that one. I don't know what happened to the rest of them I didn't see when I went down. Okay. Yeah. They were chasing they were chasing after us. They the fight started you know, started close to close to the gang home and then then they 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 were beating <laughs> us and then they were chasing us down and it led us closer down towards the markets. Usually the fighting doesn't go that long, but they were persistent tonight. Well, did so, they... Chat says, Layson's about to be abducted and sold into a life of intimate slavery. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not going to happen, sport. <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Laser. So what do you do about the the fact that there is fighting and it's kind of getting closer? You can hear the sound of it fighting down the street. I pull out my short sword and conceal it. Uh, the guy notices. Uh, well, at least you're not stupid enough to come this way unarmed, but you were stupid enough to come with me. And he just keeps walking and he kind of walks away from the fight where it's going on. Okay. I, I feel obligated to help you. Why? I, I don't you out know. Of, I pulled <laughs> you out of the street. <laughs> you're I an outlander. I did that either. <laughs> Nobody's asking is, you more when you're asleep. Is there a voice? Is chaotic neutral or not? <laughs> <laughs> what? He's being pretty chaotic right now. <laughs> this is kind of chaotic. <laughs> Middle of the night. Yeah, good. Save as a bandit because he feels like it, and he's like, "What? It'll benefit me if I have contact. So I'm going to be his friend." <laughs> Starts acting lawful good. All of a sudden, to help the guy. <laughs> anyway, commentary hey, done. Continue. Honorable. <laughs> honorable. <laughs> So I, I helped save you. I feel responsible for you, at least to get you home safely. Oh, you are. You're. Yeah. And then he starts muttering something about outlanders and then just keeps walking. You don't really hear what he says, though. After a few more blocks, you come to a building that's really just run down, little more than a shack, really. And then he knocks on it. And somebody cracks it open and he mutters stuff to him. And then he says, you coming in or are you going back? I'll come in. All right. As long as I'm not going to be captured and sold into intimate slavery. <laughs> uh, no, no, we, we keep to the river freedom. Slavery is an abomination. Come on in. Okay. I come in. What do I see? <laughs> well, it's there's not many people in there. It's just a a couple of other people that were already there, and so it's those two, and then you two that just walked in. And so there's the remains of a small meal on one of the tables. There's not much of value in this room that you can see. Okay. Who, then, run, who runs your gang? Uh, uh, are we sure we want to be telling this stuff to an outlander, guys? And then they they kind of start talking to each other, and it's just like... And then they come back to you and say, you know what, we'll, we'll hold off on the formalities and as far as who's leading us and stuff like that. He'd probably rather not be named. Well, I, I was wondering, I need to get some special gear. Oh, And I was right. wondering if you could tell me where I might pick some up. What kind of gear? Well, I need some tools, locks, picks, and the like. 
and I need a uh, I need some tangle foot bags. Well, well, you might be able to just find those at, at some of the shops, or well, the, well, maybe okay. I guess not the lock picks. There is you could talk to the thieves guild. Where's it located? Uh, well, they're they're on the edge of the lower quarter, and they're between the lower quarter and the plaza, just right on the edge of the lower quarter. Well, if it's not too much trouble, could you give me a map? Uh, we don't have any maps. It's uh, we don't keep much paper around here. Okay, well, if I come back and I bring some, will somebody help me out? Well, I guess we can do do that for you, I guess. Well, I appreciate it. Drag their buddy off the street and get him healed. Cough, cough. Let a game cough, cough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm glad to have helped you out, and I guess I'll head back to my inn now. All right. Keep it. Before you walk out, they say you better not mention where you brought us to, where you brought them back to. Keep it. Don't bring anybody back here. Okay, that's fine. And then they let they let you walk out. Now, I'm so gonna, where are you headed? <laughs> I'm gonna ninja back to the to the uh, hotel. <laughs> He's gonna ninja. Roll your stealth. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. That's gonna be <laughs> twelve. That was a lot of uh, pausing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you head back to the to the inn, and you hear fighting along the way. Just just in the streets. Fortunately for you, it doesn't get close to you. Okay. And you make it back. Wow. Dice were in your favor on this one. <laughs> Somebody rolled a low perception check. <laughs> it wasn't necessarily a perception check. 